So what are we here to talk about? Well, this is extremely secretive. Everything in here is. I'm buying a very big company. Oh, congrats. Which he said wouldn't cost us anything. This deal will make me the head of the largest agency in the entire entertainment business. You said it wouldn't cost us anything. Well, <laughs> I didn't think that it would. He said the company was going to buy it. I thought that the company could, but it's been a rough year, so, you know. We're a little strapped for cash, but the bank has asked me to personally guarantee something. Twelve million dollars. I think it's great that you do have such open communication about your money. It's not our money. It's her money. Oh. And I just put up my money when we started this new agency, and that was over two years ago, and we still haven't gotten all of that money back yet. And that doesn't concern you, Ari? No, because we're going to make it back 50 times on this one. You don't see it this way. Even if I did, I, I don't see this as just about business. Is it about ego, Ari? Well, I've always dreamed about ruling the world, but now that I'm getting older, I would settle for ruling Hollywood. Oh, it goes much deeper than that. He's got enemies at this company he wants to buy. I have enemies everywhere. Who are these enemies? These are very personal conflicts. He wants payback, and I'm not sure he's thinking clearly. What? Tell me about these conflicts, Ari. It, they don't matter. Your wife seems to think they do. My wife doesn't know how I do my business. But you need her money in order to buy this business that you want. So why do you want it? For revenge. For a music department. For Terrence. For a book department that I can pair with filmmakers. And for Lloyd. For sports stars. Is it possible that these people are the reason you want to buy the agency? Yes, he wants to destroy them. Tell her. Tell her. Is it true? Do you want to destroy these people, Ari? Okay, yes. If I could gouge out Terrence McEwick's eyeballs and eat them for what he did to me, I would. And I would sell that Benedict Arnold Adam Davies in a white slavery if we lived in a place that had a market for it. And Lloyd, that little queen, who I welcomed into my home and allowed to play with my children and care for my dog and who left me for those two scumbags, I would tie him up and allow the entire Screen Actors Guild to anally rape him, if not for the fact that I know he would enjoy it. I hate them all. And yes, I want to see them destroyed. But that is not why I want this company. I want, I, no, no, I need this company because it's good business. It's good goddamn business. And if I don't buy it, someone else will, and that will be very, very bad for my business. And my wife, of all people, should know that when it comes to business, my judgment is never clouded. So please, please, Support me like you always have, and I will deliver for us like I always have. What do you think? I think it was a good speech. Yeah. Do what you need to do, Ari. Really? I love you. Can we fucking hear?